I am recording again after quite some time and uh, well uh, I've done uh, quite a lot since last time actually. but before we do do anything well actually right now I, I just double my uh, concrete projections uh, but before I do it I go into any more details about what I have done I just want to point out something first off I remember that the little Duggos exist in between the, the last episode and this one. And look at it now. Look at how cute it is. I just emptied you from Iron Ore and you already found something? I mean, it's useless. But you're cute. You are cute. And I can pet you. I'm not going. Don't worry, I'm not going to shoot him. Unless. <laughs> Imagine if they drop something. I, I, I don't want them to add something to. To add, some, to add uh, something to drop. To, to add uh, a drop to them. It'd be too sad. So, uh, first up here, something I did. Well, I did uh, basically a, a highway here. Because it was getting pretty long to uh, go to uh, traverse the factory and uh, even then it's still long <laughs> so I might actually want to add a way to just yeet myself across maybe maybe by using these oh I thought I had the uh, the Blade Runner's equipment but I guess not anyway what I want was it oh yeah no. actually here uh, Um, what was I doing already? Oh yeah, yeah. So, uh, I don't know if you can, I mean, you probably won't be able to see it, uh, but if I go into my Opera uh, browser, I'm using the Opera GX because, well, dark mode, also F blocker, which is awesome. <laughs> for, for YouTube, it works. The, the ad blocker of a pair of GX works on YouTube. Awesome. Plus, there's a VPN, but I don't really use it much. So, in my uh, browser, uh, I actually have I have Google Keep op open, and I listed all every single thing that my factory needs and produces. Iron plates, iron rods, wires, cover sheets, steel beams, steel pipes, plastic rubber and concrete iron ingots copper ingots steel ingots require plastic and rubber too and i've also decided what it needs so if i i so uh, now if i need to uh, quickly like add the uh, a um, to know if i have enough if i can afford something that needs uh, for example, um, concrete. Well, I know that I can only afford forty. Uh, that I can only, uh, only afford uh, to have forty uh, concretes per per um, something that can eat top up to forty concrete per minute without adding something else. And for my iron, uh, well, I have. I am producing four hundred and eighty iron, and I am using four hundred and fifty six that twenty five iron. Uh, iron ingots out of uh, all that so yeah it's uh, it's a pretty neat uh, little uh, thing I did so I'm going to take that because uh, I think it moves really dang quickly on D here so let's see I think it's faster to use uh, the highway actually What if? Does it work? Doesn't seem like it. Nope, doesn't work. Sadly. Uh, so it, it seems like this counts as uh, not grippy surface. 
I mean, I'm still going to leave it here because like, why not? But I'm not going to use it. When it just drops down like this. All right. Oh, ragdoll. I forgot about that. Are, are you stuck? No. Yes. Not anymore. All right. So here, uh, what? So today, my goals are pretty simple. So first off, uh, I need more plastic, but I'm not. But I need MK5 belts, because otherwise it's so goddamn slow. Because uh, otherwise I'll have to make a whole new thing, and I don't want to do that. Uh, a whole new a conveyor belt that goes all the way. To Oh god, I think that was just something loading in. Uh, so I, I don't want to have to make a conveyor belt that goes all the way back over there again. So here, I'm producing supercomputers. I also found out why it wasn't producing as much as I thought. As, uh, and the reason is simple, this thing wasn't running. <laughs> so now I'm actually uh, producing uh, the... Almost the maximum amount of supercomputers, but I'm just liking a bit of plastic, which sucks. That's like, god damn it, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I need so much plastic. It's ridiculous. Oh, I think I'll have to uh, expand the base, uh, the factory uh, backwards a bit because I'm pretty much running into the last, uh, into the last few uh, foundations, I think. So, today, first off, this, I'm going to just extend it a bit, real quick. Oh, and also, uh, I added the two, I, uh, I did two more uh, copper uh, refinement nodes here. So, uh, 480, and I uh, was actually using all of my copper, so I added some more. So, I'm actually using only, like, 10. 10 5 so or something, 10 2 higher. Uh, hmm. Well, anyway. So now here, if I just quickly uh, add a few lines, maybe. Like this. This. There we go. Uh, so here, what I want to do for today Adaptive control units and modular engines. So I need to craft motors, I need rubber, for once, and smart plating. I also need uh, a lot of automated wiring, and uh, the rest of it is frankly pretty easy to make. So, I think that's actually going to be pretty easy, in fact. So it shouldn't be uh, much of a problem. It's... Uh, I actually feel like all combined, it's going to be smaller than the super than what the super computer is. <laughs> oh, I guess I also have a shit ton of coupons, don't I? <laughs> the super computers give us our very, very uh, give us a lot uh, of points here. So, I uh, extended the thing quite a lot. Actually, twenty. Uh, to, to, actually, I think it's twenty platform. I extended it. Something like that. So if we check like this, uh, yeah, it's twenty platform. All right. So now, what? Is, well, I. I uh, Alright, I wasn't uh, for a second uh, there. Uh, I uh, I added up and if my uh, microphone was getting uh, reported or not. So here, I'm just going to uh, start by the adaptive control unit. So I'm going. I'm going. I'm. I'm just like laying down all what I need here, and I'll worry about uh, putting them in uh, next to everything else later. So no, it's, it's just like to visualize it better. Five, ten circuit boards. I think a single. Uh, five, uh, six, 
Mm -hmm. So 20 plastic, 10 copper sheet. Heavy mother frames. And the last thing is computers. Alright, so. Heavy modular frames, one per minute. Uh, 1.5, 30%. I don't like that 30%. Can I get something better with this one? 1.5, 10 yeah, I prefer this. <laughs> or maybe not actually. Uh, I'll just skip ahead a bit. Alright, so, all this is all what I need for... Ah, crap, I need a computer. Uh... How, what do I need for a computer? Nah, fuck it. I'm just going to steal one from my computer production over there. <laughs> That's going to be way easier. <laughs> oh god. Um, the other one, though, should be quite. The other one, I think, is much easier. To do. Uh, yeah, it's very easy, in fact. Very easy. So, uh, I'm going to. St so, I guess we're starting by the most difficult one for now. <laughs> well, now I have to organize all of this. It's not gonna be, be very fun, I can, I, I can tell you that. It's not gonna be very fun. Also, I have all 10. Uh, also, all of these are just. Uh, are literally just. Um, wires. So I'm going to uh, put them down right at the start. So yes, let's do that. Also, I think I'll have to add. Uh, also, I, something tells me uh, all of this will already uh, eat all the copper I've, I've added uh, off camera. So uh, as we can see, everything is now organized, mainly organized. And all what I have to do now is connect uh, all of the uh, resources and, and energy and also bring a computer from all the way over there to here. But for now I'm gonna go eat because I'm hungry. <laughs> I'll be right back. Well, I just finished uh, connecting all the uh, copper and uh, I really just hope I have enough because it, it's not looking too uh, good really. Yeah. So, I think I the second copper. Yeah, also, uh, here, the way I'm making copper and a new uh, nodes enter, uh, well, it's pretty weird and really. So, uh, how is it not connected? Oh, it should be. It, oh, it, it, I think it is going to get, but then why isn't it rolling? What? I feel like I fucked up my uh, copper thing a bit. Enters here. The second copper line enters here. There's skid splits here. What is going on here? I think it was just glitched. Somehow lost its connection. That's weird. Uh, anyway. Yes. Do you 
work now, no? You are the copper line, right? Yes. Yes, you are the copper line. Alright, so there's a problem, but I don't know where it came from. Yeah, I just have to like... Maybe these two are the ones that have glitched out or something? What? Why aren't you working? This doesn't make any sense. You should work. But then why don't you? I feel like there's a gl There's a glitch in the matrix. So if I do that, then it, it, it comes out. Is it too short? Oh, actually, I think I might know. Oh yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I see the problem. It also includes me uh, getting a bit rid of all that. All right, now it works, I think. So now just take that down a bit like this. What do you mean it's too steep? It's flat. Is that from is, is that the is that thing the problem or something? Can't take it from. Why won't you work? Maybe I need to angle it. Is that the problem? Yes, it was. For some reason, that was the problem. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Sure, I guess I'll take it. Also, I love the jetpack kills. And now, uh, the copper is uh, running again. So, uh, the way I may, I do it when the copper is... Uh, when I need to uh, re-include the copper uh, line into the, the conveyors. Well, I basically split it in two because it really arrives uh, just like here. It was like a point. A se like here, I, if I just connected it straight up, I will have lose a seven point five uh, copper. And even though it might not seem li like much, all my maths are centered ar around it being ex the exact number. So I need it to be perfect. So, so this is the last steel line. And I need to bring it all the way over there. There we are. Now, uh, I have to bring in iron. And also the plastic. But the plastic is pretty simple. It's right, uh, like, uh, it's right here-ish. Come on. Where is the split in the plastic? Okay, I guess I can just take it from here. Yeah, it probably will work. Sure, let's do that. And there we go, plastic has been brought in. That is perfect. And now it's on the iron. Yeah, so let's just bring in some iron. That's gonna take so long though to bring it all the way back from there. <laughs> Oh well, and there we go. The iron is uh, coming in. So now it sh actually should be running at full capacity. Oh, that's not that great. Well, nearly full capacity. 
No, it's it's it's, it's going to run at, at full capacity, I think. Because uh, well, the the plastic seems to be actually overflowing into here, which is actually kind of good. So nice. Oh wait, I'm still recording. Whoops. Oh wait, these are heavy modular frames, is that normal modular frames? Uh... You cut. I... Uh... Got a bit, uh... Let's just say, uh... <laughs> mixed, I guess. Uh, wait, wait. wait. Oh no, I need to uh, go and get, I uh, need a manufacturer for me then, I think. So you know what? I'm not even gonna... So I just wanna, yeah, I need a manufacturer. Uh, actually, what do these things need? <coughs> well... I'm not going to take this one out because I might need it for the next one. Uh, but uh, for uh, uh, the heavy model frames, I'm not going to make a whole new thing. I'm just going to take them from uh, all the way over there because it's going to be so much faster. <laughs> like I really don't need much many modular frames. I barely use any, and I do enough uh, AFK that uh, my reserves barely ever go down, down half. Actually, they've never gone down the uh, like tenth of the way, so I think I can afford to take a bit uh, from there. From there, so yes. There. Also, the server will restart in two minutes, even though I'm think I'm running the game on my computer, which is weird. Hmm. Strange. So. Um, once the uh, heavy monitor frames will make their, their way across, uh, then uh, things will start running. It's gonna take a few minutes though, I think. So... What if I just put two in here? Straight away. There we go, it's starting. Nice. Uh, so I think I, yeah, it seems like I have enough copper and steel. Though um, I'll need to uh, do the calculations to know exactly how much I need uh, soon. So I won't get the. Uh, um, Over um, so. 
game server restart. So I, I'll, I'll need to uh, calculate exactly how much copper and steel I'll need and add it and add it to the equation. Uh, so I won't have to do all of it uh, really quickly uh, and uh, after and when I'll have built so much more stuff and that will take a, a long time to do. Also, there's some why I am quitting and saving quitting like this because it's faster. Like once I let the, the server restart, it took like what five minutes and faster to, to just do this. Mm -hmm. To be honest, this is pretty easy to do. I think. Uh, so only free, eh? Let's see. So, um, to make uh, these things, I need reinforced iron plates and rockers. All right. Uh, whoops. Come on, there we go. Reinforced iron plates, rotors. Alright, yeah, this is definitely the last thing I'm crafting here. Uh, also, two motors. I think I'm producing five over there. Over there. So I just, like, bring it in. Because I really don't use that. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll do that. I'll just bring it five motors. Yes. I'll just bring in two, uh, two motors because over there I think it's producing like what 10 per minute or something or five per minute. Yes, five minutes. So 2.5 here, and I'll have more than enough uh, than three over there when this one will have overflow. That one. So yes, I'm just going to make uh, these reinforced iron plate stuff. Actually, can I like use this? If I just so this, I don't need you. How many do you make if I do like this? Two. Forty percent of thirty. Yeah, I think it might work. Yeah. That's going to be more than enough actually. Yeah, oops. So yeah, I'm just going to uh Recycle that bit of space here that I accidentally uh, that I actually miscalculated uh, that I used. So I'm a. It's a bit sad that I that I wasted a bit of space here because uh, it would have been much better if it was all uh, record here. Actually, I think I can. You know, I can definitely do that still. I think. Yes. Actually, maybe not. If I think I can only have but like the rotor uh, crafting in here, so. Uh. And uh, there we go. Everything is connected. I think I need more iron now, though. But that can work. So, if we look here, yep, it's getting uh, more than enough uh, motors and rubber, I think. Nice. So, is this thing running, uh, running at maximum efficiency? Shouldn't be lacking. Uh, why does it seem like I'm, la uh, I'm... Why am I lacking automatic, automated wire, wire, wiring? Is it? Why aren't you receiving any stators, my friend? Is it because you're... Are you not working? You aren't. What is... 
What is it causing this? Oh, it's not. Oh, yeah. I guess. I, I guess that makes. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Uh, maybe it worked better if it was actually receiving, uh, you know. Uh, steel. Anyway, uh, now I need to find out where is the last steel thing. Also, yes, I'm, lo I'm using a Blade Runner I guess. Because, well, they're faster than the jetpacks. The jetpack. So, there we go. Now it should all be running here. <laughs> I can't believe I actually. That's what I. Ah, ridiculous. I mean, at least now these things are full with uh, wires, I guess. So, nice. Hey. You nut. Why aren't you working? What was that? I hate when a game does that. It sucks. Like, sometimes it just doesn't work. Like, now? Look it. Now it's working. Why does it. Why is it doing this? I don't know, and I hate it. So, anyway, now all I have to do is just connect this all the way back to there, which will be long, very long. It's making its first uh, particular engine. Well, that's neat. Also, yeah, I ended up just fitting all of what I needed here. Uh, I think that's the most com that's probably the most compact thing you can possibly make. <laughs> it's also uh, working in an overflow manner. And I think it's difficult to say though. Uh, but, uh, I think it does work in an overflow manner. It's so here and base two that five. Here it takes 6, here it takes 11, I actually I think I don't even, this takes 12, I'm going to do a bit of a bit of maths. Alright, so I need to add like There we go. <laughs> Alright. Now it should be running at a hundred percent efficiency once it's all going to have our flow. Wait. I wasn't even looking at the right thing. Uh. All right, so now I uh, think I got it. Just this. Perfect. So now it should all be running. Perfectly. I mean, once it's it's going to have overflowed, it's going to run. For now, though, uh, I'm I'm cold. Because, well, uh, and yes, uh, my uh, gaming computer is uh, in a barn. Because, well, uh, and uh, because, well, uh, I, I chose to put it there, so, uh, like, uh, I still live at my uh, parents' uh, place. I probably shouldn't say that. Uh, to be, uh, 
uh, but uh, well, uh, so uh, well, I, the thing is, uh, I wanted some way to oblige myself not to just do nothing in the weekend. So uh, instead, I put the, uh, so I put my uh, my thing in the barn for uh, the summer. But now it's winter, and uh, like it, it's. It's the part of the barn that's uh, isolated, so it's actually livable area, you know. But uh, it's still cold because, well, uh, kind of difficult to, uh, um, well, uh, heat it up because it's a, it's a, it's, it's a fairly wide area and like the heating stove, I, I guess it's called. The fireplace is at the opposite end of the uh, of the room. Like the room is like two, maybe like what ten meters, ten by fifteen by ten meters or something. So the fireplace is it, it is at the opposite end of the area. I'm in the corner, and the fireplace is at the opposite corner. So I'm basically the last place to be to be heated up and well, uh, sometimes uh, setting the fire can be difficult and I can be bothered to you so <laughs> now it's cold I'm wearing a coat and I'm in and my uh, gloves and my hands are cold so <laughs> I'm gonna go also uh, I'm going to put this there because frankly I can't be bothered to just bring it all of the way there it's getting way too long to do that I think I need to somehow make a more centralized thing. Uh, I don't know. Why aren't you running? Oh, no power. Yeah, that uh, that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> You still running? Yes, because you had the. Uh... Yes, you're still running because you had uh, more than you needed, which is good, I guess. Also, the fact you can uh, overlap conveyor belts like this is uh, a bit tricky. So uh, anyway, so uh, if you enjoy, leave a like, comment, subscribe, uh, share with your friends. If you think they could enjoy the, my content as well, then uh, I'll see you uh, later. Because, uh, or maybe this won't be the end of the episode. Actually, it probably will. Because, uh, like, next episode, I'm going. I'm gonna start by the by uh, the space elevator. Because I'm going to stay FK for overnight, and I just hope I'll, I'll uh, have enough uh, stuff. That it uh, is going to have produced enough overnight for me to uh, do uh, everything. So uh, bye, Valdion, out. <laughs>